If you develop romantic feelings for someone who is married, then please like and subscribe to my channel MK Psychology Corner for more interesting psychology facts. Falling in love can be a beautiful and exhilarating experience, but it can also be a complex, heart-wrenching journey, especially when the object of your affection is already married. Navigating romantic feelings for someone who is married comes with unique challenges and moral dilemmas. It's an emotional minefield that requires a great deal of self-awareness, maturity, and, most importantly, restraint. In this video, we'll explore what it means to develop romantic feelings for a married person, the emotional turmoil that can arise, and practical steps you can take if you find yourself in this difficult situation. Along the way, we'll also discuss the psychological and emotional impacts that such feelings can have on everyone involved. Understanding your feelings The first and most crucial step in addressing romantic feelings for a married individual is understanding where these feelings come from and why they have developed. It's essential to reflect on whether these feelings are based on genuine affection or if they stem from other factors, such as unmet emotional needs or fantasies of an idealized relationship. Sometimes, we project certain qualities onto people that may not be entirely true. In a married individual, you might see stability, maturity, or qualities that are appealing because they represent something you may feel is missing in your life. However, it's important to ask yourself whether you're seeing the person as they truly are or through a lens of romanticized ideals. The Psychological Impact of Romanticizing a Married Person Romanticizing someone who is unavailable can lead to a series of psychological consequences. It can affect your self-esteem, emotional well-being, and personal growth. Here's how. Unattainable desires. When you idealize someone who is married, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. This person is emotionally and legally tied to another, and the chances of having a full, fulfilling relationship with them are slim. This unattainable desire can lead to feelings of frustration, rejection, and inadequacy. Emotional isolation, having feelings for someone who is unavailable can leave you feeling emotionally isolated. You might feel like you can't talk to anyone about these feelings because of the societal stigma attached to it. This isolation can lead to further emotional distress and even depression. Inhibited personal growth, being emotionally tied to someone who is married can hold you back from forming meaningful relationships with other people. You may miss out on opportunities for personal growth and genuine love with someone who is available and able to commit to you fully. Acknowledging the Moral Dilemma One of the hardest parts about developing feelings for a married person is dealing with the moral and ethical implications. In most societies, marriage is viewed as a sacred bond, and romantic involvement with someone who is married is considered a breach of that bond. Before acting on these feelings, it's essential to consider the consequences not just for you, but for everyone involved. Engaging in a romantic or emotional relationship with a married person can lead to significant harm. To the married person's spouse, whether or not you think their marriage is happy, 
any involvement between you and the married person could hurt their spouse deeply, even if they never find out. It violates the trust that forms the foundation of their relationship. To yourself, getting involved with a married person can leave you feeling guilty, conflicted, and hurt in the long run. The emotional consequences of participating in a relationship built on secrecy and dishonesty can be profound. To the married person, they may face guilt, confusion, and the potential destruction of their marriage. Even if they reciprocate your feelings, their emotional state will be affected by the secrecy, divided loyalties and moral conflict they are likely experiencing. The psychological factors behind falling for a married person. Several psychological factors may contribute to why someone might develop romantic feelings for a married individual. Understanding these underlying reasons can provide insight into the situation and help you manage your emotions more effectively. The allure of the unavailable, humans are often drawn to what they can't have. In psychology, this is known as the scarcity principle, where things that are unattainable or difficult to obtain become more desirable. In the case of a married person, their emotional and legal unavailability can make them seem more alluring. Unmet emotional needs. If you have unmet emotional needs, you may find yourself attracted to someone who appears to possess the qualities you long for. Married people, especially those in long-term stable relationships, may seem like safe bets because they exhibit qualities like maturity, responsibility, and emotional stability. Fantasy versus reality. When someone is married, you might only see a small part of their life, often the part that is attractive and desirable. You may not see the everyday struggles they face with their spouse or the less glamorous aspects of their relationship. This can lead to an idealized version of who they are, making it easier to develop feelings for them. Fear of commitment, interestingly, developing feelings for a married person could be a subconscious way of avoiding commitment. Since the person is unavailable, there's no real expectation of a long-term relationship, which can feel safer for someone who has fears or anxieties about commitment steps to take if you have romantic feelings for someone who is married acknowledge your feelings the first step is to be honest with yourself acknowledge that these feelings exist and that they are real it's important not to suppress or deny them because doing so can lead to more intense emotions down the road however Acknowledging your feelings doesn't mean you have to act on them. Create emotional distance. Once you've acknowledged your feelings, it's time to create some emotional distance. This could mean reducing your contact with the married person, setting boundaries, or even cutting ties completely if necessary. While this may be painful, it's often the healthiest choice in the long run. Reflect on your own emotional needs. Take some time to think about what might be missing in your own life that has led to these feelings. Are there unmet emotional needs that you're seeking to fulfill through this relationship? Understanding this can help you focus on addressing those needs in healthier, more fulfilling ways. Seek support. It's crucial to have someone you can talk to about your feelings. Whether it's a close friend, therapist, or counselor, 
Having an outside perspective can help you gain clarity and make more objective decisions. Sharing your thoughts and emotions can also reduce the sense of isolation that often accompanies unrequited love. Focus on your personal growth, use this as an opportunity to focus on yourself. Invest in personal growth, hobbies, and relationships with people who are available and capable of giving you the love and attention you deserve. By building a life that is fulfilling and balanced, you may find that your feelings for the married person diminish over time. Don't act on your feelings, acting on your feelings could lead to a cascade of negative consequences, not just for you but for everyone involved. If the married person reciprocates your feelings, they may still be bound by their marital commitments, leading to a situation filled with secrecy, guilt, and heartache. It's essential to resist the temptation to act, as doing so may have lasting repercussions on your emotional well-being and the lives of others. Conclusion, letting go and moving forward. Falling for someone who is married is a complicated and emotionally challenging experience. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of emotions, but it's essential to step back and think critically about the situation. Reflecting on your own emotional needs, creating boundaries, and seeking support are crucial steps in managing these feelings in a healthy way. Remember that your feelings are valid, but that doesn't mean acting on them is the best choice. By focusing on your own personal growth and letting go of the idea of a future with someone who is unavailable, you open yourself up to the possibility of finding love with someone who can fully commit to you. Please like and subscribe to my channel MK Psychology Corner for more interesting psychology facts.